Hi, welcome back to Life is Strange. Last time, not long ago, I had to say goodbye to Kate. And if you watched it, I cried really badly because I feel bad that I couldn't save her and it's just awful. But let's not talk about that. The fact is, Kate is dead. And here is episode number three, which came out pretty fast. Or oh, I took too long to play episode two through. I'm not sure, but let's start anyway. Um, ghost dormitories. It's probably again sometime later. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! film little pieces of time i'm so sick of people trying to control me don't ever touch me again freak it totally makes sense you hella saved my life i think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday and there she is how are you doing max hi joyce i am so sorry about william I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> Oh no, it's so fresh. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Yeah, I know that. At least they didn't show Kate jump off the roof again. dying. I always watered it. Since when does Max have a bunny or... It, it's a bunny. Hello bunny. Hi. Kate! And Kate. What a coincidence. Yeah, you're called Kate. In memory of Kate. of the campus get dead ass is I knew Chloe would be now. all over this so I better get moving bye Kate I still can't stop thinking yeah. about Kate me neither it's like I'm awake in a bad dream sorry Lisa too much water oh. I can't even keep my plant alive my plant is called Kate. Lisa I watered too much Really, it's like, like, real life. I shouldn't feed the bunny because I kill it because of too much food. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, not on this. 
Nimm, 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 nimm. Sorry, Lisa Tree. Floor lamp. Switch on. Thank you. Uh, guitar. Can't use it again. Nothing. Mirror. Use. Come on, Max. No more tears. You have to act, not react. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Oh, right. That was the last scene. Uh, where there's somebody put a file of Kate away and it looked like Samuel or, or not really but I think it is him Kate I swear I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof what did she say who pushed her off the roof Kate I swear I will use all all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. She jumped on herself. By herself, I, I mean, and okay, she was pushed Ew. to... Thanks uh, for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Yeah. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting tragedy. Now Kate's family has to see their daughter's death all over the web like a cat video. And I'm even in this one. Oh, that makes me ill. Which included an un unidentified student attempting to talk the victim down here. Yeah. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Let's save electricity. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. AP? What does AP mean? Wow, that's creepy. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Oh, she's got a torch. No, it's just a phone. Uh, are we fallen angels who didn't want to believe that nothing is nothing? In memory of Kate Marsh. I'm sorry, Kate. We love you. Rest in peace. God. It's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. This is making me sad again. Wherever you go, there I am. Avenge Kate Marsh. Now they are all nice and everything. It's too late, damn it. There's a light at the end of a corridor. Toilet, poster. Oh. She's brushing. I better her go teeth. meet up with Chloe. Hello to teeth brushing. Girl, I, whose name hey, I forgot. I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. Me neither. Um, I can. I just wish I could have stopped her. Are you okay? I'm just like numb. I, I've never seen anybody actually die. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. 
Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Uh-oh. Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital. Yes. But Victoria will, like, make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Yeah, Especially after watching that. you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Thank you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Nightly anxiety attack. Oh, I can Ugh, take a shower. Cave Max want to shower, but no time. Must meet Chloe. Cave Max? Ugh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Oh, I can. Yeah. I like that. Hopefully she's not coming back. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues of my cookies? Victoria stole my cookies. Now I can't take them back because she'll know I did it. Victoria's a cookie monster. What? Those boots are made for walking runways. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. There's the guy in the middle name. Oh, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Damn it. Everything is reminding me of her and making me sad. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Uh, okay, I don't care. Can I rearrange her photos again? Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Okay. Um. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Well, uh, $30. Well, well, maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. Hey, sweet tea. What up? I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after seeing somebody jump to their death? I can't believe we all saw it happen live. It was like watching a reality show, and I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or crying. I feel totally shit. Total shit. For everything I said about Kate and that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We drink to Kate. Okay. This is like a thread for sociopaths. I'm sorry. Too. Max Crackfield. Lame. Party on, dudes. From Nathan to Victoria, the Tremo bitch got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns the fucking dorm where she's place with her selfies. My parents have lost their shit and are threatening, threatening me with a fucking job <laughs> in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me rapping him? R ripping him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down and the end of the world party is fucking on. You on? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? This is bullshit. No way can Blackfell sp uh, sp sp whatever. <laughs> suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ass kissing Mr. Jefferson with the retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around gets in trouble and yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what. Asms. You later saw me. We can in person. 
hanging there. I'm not really sure if she's a good person or a bad person. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Okay, let's go to Julie. I miss your light, Kate. All oh, right, she's pregnant. Oh, it's Dana, not Julie. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Yeah. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Yeah. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. Mm. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Let's loop around your room. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Yeah, I don't want to read that. Wait, there was another one. Aww. Trevor. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Uh, okay. Paper ball. This is both sad and pathetic. Uh, if you need any money, let me know. Okay. Wait. Why would this you is need both money? sad and pathetic. I can't read it. It's too badly written. My prayers for you, Kate. It's really pathetic that everybody is going on. Oh, rest in peace and all this stuff when they didn't care shit for her before. It's always like that. First you talk badly about her and then... Oh... Rest in peace. So Chloe is waiting Be happy for me in front of the main hall. Yep, sit on the bench. Chloe is waiting. What the hell am I Nothing doing here? Kate is oh, dead the, and I'm sneaking uh, around. The squirrel is catching uh, This campus light looks like a cemetery. Fireflies. Okay, let's go. Let's take a picture. Damn it! Come back. Yay, Chloe. Max? Yeah, I'm sorry. The most magical insects burn bright. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. Why would you say that all the time? Principal Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm toast if 
he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. He's drunk. What am I going to do? Look at me. Feeling sorry for myself when Kate Marsh's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy him. right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the students call. Can I walk somewhere else? Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Nothing but tools. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Nothing here. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Um... Victoria? Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I, I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I... I let her and Kate down. Huh? Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? I don't know. Max, stop wandering outside and get back to your dorm. Now he's got me totally trapped. Oh, wait, can I turn off the light? Please? Can I use something from here? Nothing but tools. I'm so stupid. Knocks the ninja strikes again. Uh, 
Hello. Yeah, I'm I'm coming. Wait, I've got some unread messages from Warren. Hey Max, don't want to bother you. Just checking to see how you are. I know today was hard, but you did more than anybody else could have helped to help Kate. I'm proud of you, and please no worries about going to the drive-in. But if you want to escape to a planet of apes, let's go. And if you need to talk, I'm always here. Thanks, Warren. I'm still processing. Nathan got suspended at least. I'll call you later, okay? Uh, wait, I had, an, I had a message from her mother. Yeah, there. Mom. Uh, Max, please call us soon as you can. We know this is painful and we want to know how you are, so please, please get in touch. And if you want to uh, come and spend some time back home, the door is open and your bed is made. We love you. I'll call you right away. Love you. It was so good to hear you voice. Remember what we talked about. You were there for your friend when she had nobody else and Kate made her own choice. Nobody w could expect more than what you did. You're our hero and we love you so much, Maxine. Call us anytime if you need to talk or visit. I want to call them. You. Bye. Hey, whore. Fe Feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Feminazis? Why? Why? That doesn't make sense. It hasn't got anything to do with feminism and that stuff. It's just that he had a gun. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm, I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. <laughs> it didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Well, it's the title of the game, so... Didn't just you say that it was all about chaos the theory? episode. I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even Suspended. torture yourself like that. Not expelled. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. I can mm. still feel David's hand on my face. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. 
Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? Oh, the light was turned We're in off. it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. The 18. Why do they have a curfew? Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm nope. like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. You sneak. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love whoa, my work, whoa, whoa. so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Holy shit! Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't think she would actually do something like that. So... Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Okay. So that's it for this episode. This part, I mean. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you liked watching me snoop around Victoria's room. I didn't do much else. Uh, everything else was cutscenes pretty much. And me being stupid at sneaking past the principal. So anyway, thank you and have a nice day or evening or whatever daytime it is right now. Right? Bye!